As technology continues to advance at a rapid pace, cities around the world are undergoing a transformation into intelligent and interconnected urban centers. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into the exciting realm of smart cities. In this video, we will explore the concept of smart cities, discuss their benefits, examine some real-world examples, and contemplate the potential challenges they might face. So, let's jump right in. A smart city uses cutting-edge technologies like the Internet of Things (IoT), artificial intelligence (AI), and data analytics to improve the quality of life for its people, making the city more sustainable and making urban operations run more smoothly. These technologies make it possible to collect and analyze huge amounts of data, which can then be used to make better choices and improve different parts of city life. A smart city is a place where digital solutions are used to improve the efficiency of standard networks and services for the benefit of its residents and businesses. A smart city is more than just a place where digital tools are used to make better use of resources and reduce pollution. Smarter urban transportation networks, better water and garbage management systems, and more effective lighting and heating systems are all part of it. It also means that the city's government will be more open and responsive, public places will be safer, and the needs of an aging population will be met. Smart cities have a lot of advantages. First, they improve sustainability by encouraging an energy economy, cutting down on waste, and making the best use of resources. Cities can improve their transportation systems, reduce traffic congestion, and reduce carbon emissions by utilizing IoT devices and data analytics. This is good for the Earth, and also makes people's lives better in general. Second, smart cities try to make life better for the people who live there. They offer smart healthcare, schooling, security systems, and other public services that are easy to use and make use of new technologies. Smart infrastructure like smart buildings and energy systems makes sure that people live in a safe and comfortable place. Smart cities also help the economy grow by bringing in investments, encouraging innovation, and making jobs available. By utilizing data-driven insights, cities can improve urban planning and business processes and foster creativity and economic growth. A smart city should be an urban area that gives its residents a good quality of life and helps the economy grow. This means giving people a set of services that work together and saving money on system costs. Given the projected population growth in urban places, where more effective use of infrastructure and assets will be necessary, this becomes more and more important. Smart city services and apps will make it possible to make these changes, which will improve the quality of life for city residents. Improvements to smart cities also add new value to the already existing infrastructure. They also create new income streams and operational efficiencies that save money for the government and the people living there. Sustainability is an essential part of smart cities, which aim to make urban places more efficient and improve the lives of their residents. Cities have many positive effects on the environment, such as leaving a smaller geographical mark. Still, they also have some adverse effects, such as using fossil fuels to power them. Smart technologies, like putting in place an electric transportation system to cut down on pollution, could help lessen these negative effects. When they're not being used, electric cars could also keep the frequency of the power grid in check. With these kinds of sustainable transportation choices, the number of cars in urban areas should also decrease. This is because autonomous vehicles are expected to make it less important for people to own cars. Creating these kinds of sustainable solutions could be good for the Earth and society as a whole. One of these cities is Singapore, which has used smart technologies to make its urban surroundings more sustainable and efficient. Singapore has become a model for smart cities around the world with projects like smart transportation, digital government and a large network of sensors. Another great example is Barcelona, Spain. By adding technology to different parts of city life, Barcelona has increased energy efficiency, cut down on traffic jams, and made it easier for people to get involved. Barcelona has become a lively and livable urban center through its smart city projects. Songdo, South Korea, stands out as a smart city that was built to be smart. Songdo focuses on sustainability, ease, and quality of life. It has high-tech infrastructure, and a large network of sensors. How a fully connected urban environment could work, from smart waste control to smart homes. Smart cities have a lot of potential, but they also have some problems that must be fixed. The safety and privacy of data is a significant issue. With a huge amount of data that smart city systems gather, there is a need for strong cybersecurity measures to protect citizens' private information from potential threats 
and misuse. Another problem is the digital gap, which means that some people may not have access to the right technology or know how to use it well enough to get the most out of smart city projects. It is important for cities to make sure that all people, no matter how rich or poor they are, can use the benefits of smart technologies. Also, putting smart city technologies into place takes a lot of money and cooperation between different groups, such as government agencies, private companies and citizens. For smart city projects to be implemented and run well, it's important to make sure there is good governance, stakeholder involvement and long-term sustainability. Smart cities also face problems when they try to combine different methods and technologies. Interoperability is the ability of different parts like transportation systems, energy grids and public services to work together. Standardization and open data platforms can make it easier for different systems to work together and be compatible. Lastly, because smart cities rely so much on technology, there is a risk of overdependence and potential vulnerabilities. The whole city could stop working if a system fails or someone tries to hack into it. Smart cities need to have backup methods and plans for what to do in case something goes wrong. Smart cities have a huge amount of potential for the future. As technology keeps getting better, more AI, machine learning and automation will be built into urban processes. This will lead to more speed, more personalized services and a bigger focus on being environmentally friendly. The idea of the Internet of Things is an interesting part of future smart cities. This means that everyday things like cars, tools and infrastructure will be linked to each other through embedded sensors and communication networks. The IoT will make it possible to gather, analyze and make real-time data decisions. This will make cities even smarter and more responsive. Also, new technologies like 5G and edge computing will be very important to the growth of smart cities. 5G networks' high speeds and low latency will make it possible to send data faster and support a wide range of smart apps. Edge computing, on the other hand, puts processing power closer to where the data comes from. This cuts down on delay and lets people at the edge of the network make decisions in real time. The role of people in shaping smart cities is another factor to consider. Smart city projects can only work with the help and cooperation of citizens. By getting comments from residents and including them in decision-making, cities can ensure that the community's needs and wants are met. We hope you enjoyed this exploration of smart cities. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more exciting content. As always, we appreciate your support. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.